Hello, this is Michael Jalen. Today I'll be doing an unboxing and a first impression review of this Spedal Navicam. And the actual model is right here. Uh, it is a smart car stereo CL787. Uh, the display is 7 inches LCD and the input is 5 volts at 3 amps direct current. Uh, this is the operating temperature right here and it has a little QR code if you would want to check out what else they offer, I guess. Uh, Sedpel always has their stuff wrapped in bubble wrap like this. Uh, they usually do a pretty good job on the um, on the presentation of their devices. I have a bunch of special devices. I have a radio detector. I have a bunch of webcams, and I have a dash cam. And I gotta say, every single one is packaged really nicely, and the devices also work pretty well. So I have high hopes for this. Um, the price is pretty good. Uh, I actually paid. You can get it on Amazon for a hundred dollars. Right here, as you can see, $99 it's, uh, on sale, but on eBay I was able to get it for 70 I was able to see it for 70 I was able to get it for about $30, which is crazy, so that's a really good price. Um, I don't know if everyone will be able to get that price, but that's how much I got it for. So here's the actual um, Navicam. If we take this out, we'll see it comes uh, in a nice foam um, shipping, I guess, container. Over here is a quick start guide, we'll take a look at that also. Um, and over here are all the accessories. Uh, so let's take a look at the accessories and um, it does come with a nice amount of stuff. So let's take a look at it. Over here is the power adapter, power cable. Uh, here we have our two connector cables. Uh, over here is part of the mount. Over here is another part of the mount. And over here is the suction bracket. Okay, so here are the dashboard mounting pads, um, mounting discs, I guess you would call them. Let me get everything un unwrapped over here. Let's first talk about the power. So the power right here, um, it says right here, it is a uh, DC adapter. The input is 12 to 24 volts, which is basically um, your car power right here. And the output is five volts at 3000 milliamp hours. Uh, so, uh, milliamp, sorry. So basically uh, three amps. Um, so that's a nice amount of power, and it also outputs at USB uh, A at one amp. So that's nice to know. Um, I'm guessing that runs at like two point something amps because it's outputting that uh, it's outputting also one amp. So it should be able to be able to run at 2.4 amps, which is your standard power. Here is an aux cable. Oh, and the cable is very long, which is nice. Uh, so if you want to run it from somewhere that's farther away, you can do that too. Over here is an aux cable. If you decide to connect the audio to your car via aux. Um, over here is a USB cable. I'm guessing if you want to connect uh, to your car um, via power, maybe. Uh, but it comes with that cable. Over here is the mount. Now, I had trouble putting this mount, so I'm going to show you how I did it in the end. Basically, when you want to put it in, you got to push it to the side and just push down really hard. Or the other side. There we go. I got it in. So that was a nice amount of work uh, for me to do. I do like this uh, mounting bracket. I see a lot of different companies are making it, but it basically gives it a whole array of different things you could do. And then this also comes out, which gives it a very long neck if you do decide that you want to connect it like this. You could also connect it like this. There's a lot of different ways that you could connect it. Uh, also, this, if you loosen it, it can swivel around and ultimately come off completely. So if you just want to tighten that up again, probably a good idea. Um, these are discs in order to put it into your car so that the suction can go on. Now it comes with two. I'm not sure exactly um, what this one. This one I understand. This one you take it off. This is sticky. Put it on your car and then you mount this to it. I'm not sure what this one is. Um, if it's a magnet, maybe it's a magnet. I'm going to check right now. Maybe it's a mounting pad that's more flexible in case you need more flexibility. I don't understand really. But um, I already have a mounting pad in my car so I'm probably just going to use that. Uh, one thing you have to realize is when you have something like this in your car, you're um, you're inviting someone to come steal it. So um, yeah, you are putting yourself in a situation where someone might come and break into your car to get steal this. Uh, let's talk about the connection that it has. It has a I'm guessing this is power Type C power. Um, over here you have a micro SD card because I believe this also um, can be some kind of dash cam. Uh, not this model, but. There are models that could be dash cam. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. Maybe um, if you want to put music on it. And this is the aux if you want the aux to be playing outside the car. Uh, AV in, I believe, is if you have a camera and you want to attach it to uh, this device so that you can see what's going on. Some people want to put a baby monitor or something on there. 
so you can do that. Now I'm going to plug in regular uh, power. This is 2.5 amps of power. Let's see what that does for us. And if it'll turn on, I think it will. There we go. And I'm going to connect my phone. That's pretty loud. Um, I'm going to connect my phone via Android Auto. Let's see what happens. But first, let's just check out the, I guess, the UI. You have settings here. Um, you have wallpaper, auto dimming, voice control, screensaver. There's a lot of uh, stuff in here, actually. Um, okay, I don't know how to go back. Oh, I forgot to peel off the peel. This is nice. There we go. Um, and now we're back. And it has an uh, option for Bluetooth. Over here you have brightness, how bright you want it to be. Over here you have how to set up and stuff like that. Over here you have audio and I'm going to a media player. Oh, um, maybe the SD card can be filled up with music. So we're going to try to test that out to see if the SD card can be filled up with music. Hey guys, so I put some, uh, I put a video file on here, so let's see if it works. Um, let's go to media player and it does work. Okay, cool. And even a pause button and shuffle, single, and audio. I guess it's the volume, however much you want the volume. Now let's uh, get to the main production and connect my phone. So I have an, a Pixel 6a, uh, and this is how you connect to it. So I'm gonna go to my, um, my phone's Bluetooth settings, and we're gonna try to add a new device. And let's see, I have my Bose, and then here it is. Pairing, pairing. And as you can see, we paired successfully, and we are now logged into my uh, phone, which is cool. Wireless, thanks to me. Wireless, not even connected. Um, so there are different options over here. Right now we're in the maps, and I didn't want to move it away from where I was, so I'm in a random other part of uh, the city. On the left side you see there is YouTube music, um, there is a uh, phone where you can call people, and there is uh, maps, which we are in right now. Also you have notifications. And as you can see here, my WhatsApp notifications are actually showing up. And as you can see over here, we can actually reply or play the voice note out loud, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, just trying to keep it private. You can also dismiss the notifications, which is nice. If you press this button, you can uh, get some options over here. So the brightness settings, audio settings. Also, if you click right here, you can also get audio settings um, through Google Maps. And then you could also zoom in or zoom out. If you press this button, you can get settings, which is nice. Uh, for different um, routes, I guess. So now we're in full screen, and we could actually search over there. But if you press this button, you can actually see your music playing, and you can see some notifications. It usually splits into three screens, so that's nice. And if I swipe one more, you can actually see the music's uh, music um, songs available. Okay, and if we press this button one more time, we'll actually go to all of our apps, which is nice. For example, you go into the Messages app, and you can see some messages. And then, I don't know how to get out of here. Hmm. You could actually send a message through here through voice command. So you press this button and voice command pops up. But as you can see, not all apps are available on Android Auto. Just some. So And you could customize them, I guess, over here. Okay, let's get into the next thing. If you press the call button, you can actually see all of your favorites, which is really cool. Um, that makes it really easy to call people. Obviously, I'm not going to show that on, um, on the YouTube channel. But um, I am in the dialer, so that's pretty cool. You could also always press this and um, tell Google what you want it to do. Just turn it off. And um, Google Music or YouTube Music is actually uh, pretty good with um, with what you could do. So you got your library music right here. Oh, watch it. So in the library right now I have nothing, but if I go to offline devices, you have the downloads, and I have no downloads. So, uh, but I have device files. And then if you go to artists, um, you'll see all the files that are actually on your device, which is pretty cool. Um, I have a bunch, so um, we could totally. Uh, listen to music that's already on your device. I didn't find the micro SD card to be um, too good with playing music. It didn't really pick up all the audio that I had on there. And here we are in settings. Um, obviously you can see over here a bunch more settings, I didn't know. Um, show the first line of conversations, play conversation, chime, start Android auto automatically, day and night for maps, and a lot of different uh, cool settings. Um, okay, 
So, yeah, I don't think this has any built-in storage, but um, the speakers are pretty, pretty bad quality. But uh, all in all, I would definitely say this is, uh, this is a decent quality device. I think they made newer versions that are better. Um, and I'm just using an older version that they haven't exactly, like as you can see right here, there's like a bunch of different versions. But uh, the version that I have, um, I would say it's uh, from the lower end, but for under $30, definitely worth the money. Um, but keep in mind that you are putting yourself in a situation where you are having something expensive in your car and people might think it's expensive and steal it. So uh, definitely after hearing that, um, up to you if you decide to keep it there all the time. Obviously, you could always take it off, but that, that would be very annoying. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Uh, I'm going to go install it on my car, and I hope I'll enjoy it. Maybe I'll make another review if people are interested uh, later on, like using it after a month. But this is my first impression review, and have a great day.